Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this uh, session on art education, collection d'artistes, collection cahier d'artistes. We're going to talk in the next 30 minutes about the setup and the reasoning behind uh, which these people are responsible for. I don't introduce them, they can do it very well themselves. This is Janine Schmutz, Martina Siegwolf, Bruno Steiner, um, Martin Blum and Heimo Gantz. Uh, Janine, could you maybe s say in a few sentences what is your part in the setup in um, Halle 3? In a few sentences. Okay, we did, uh, we can say, the project management of the project together in a co team. And you're coming from uh, Fondation Bayerlo? Yeah. We did also the concept behind that we want to work together with artists. And um, yeah, I think we did everything from financial uh, things, budget, concept, and also um, texts, press texts. Martina, what was your part in the whole thing? By the way, here we see some pictures of uh, what's going on over there. Um, so, I don't know, perhaps some people from you have seen it in the other room. So, it's a huge installation. So, uh, I think I tell a little bit about the story, how it began that, this, that we did this project together. So, Janine and me, we work in, the muse in two museums, different museums, and we are there res responsible for art education. And uh, so, Proalvisia was coming to us and asked about if we could do a project that concerns to these Collection Cahiers d'Artistes. So Collection Cahiers d'Artistes is a tool, a promotion tool for young Swiss artists um, that they give them the possibility to make their first publication. So in the other room, so I think it's a little bit another situation than here in the art fair, is the situation that the Swiss Art Awards promote young artists to to give them a kind of possibility to show their work. So, but the Collection Cahiers d'Artistes is the other tool of promoting. So we were thinking about what can we do to show the subject of paper that is inside uh, Collex, uh, this, um, this heft, so this, um, yes, these little booklets. So that was the beginning. And so we were thinking about to do, uh, to, to ask Gans Blum and Bruno Stein to work with us to make the concept for this kind of art education. So you were confronted with the, the problem how to make in three in space visible what usually only comes on paper. That is one part. Mm. But I think we are here, we are here in a kind of uh, special situation because you have a lot of people, they come here and uh, when you make something it must be an eye catcher, it must be something to make it, uh, make it to a subject. So. so this was the job of these three gentlemen. Bruno Steiner, what was your involvement? Uh, I had two parts uh, where I was working for. It was, uh, the first part was the video installation and the second part was cooking at the preview and for the brunch with uh, Heimo Gantz as K and K. I was uh, in the planning process of the installation involved and also in the, the whole building and the realization of the installation together with Heimo Gantz. So as a uh, artists we basically intended to do an artwork which allows to uh, trans uh, transport this uh, content or this uh, allow a presentation of those books okay i'm Heimo Gans and i have nothing really to say because everything is to say i work together with bruno with k and k kunst und kochen we make um, art um, eating performances and I make installation with Martin Bloom said um, 10 years ago and yes that's my part thanks maybe Martin uh, we could just stay with you um, when I go over there maybe you, you see it over here on the, on the images in a way it looks like a huge tent 
Um, I had the association of uh, like a Tuareg tent. What for you was the reason that you did it like this? What was, what's the reasoning behind that it had to be like this and there was no other possibility? So in the first place, place we've been very pleased to work on such a huge surface as we did in a former project as well. And uh, from that experience, we knew that 400 square meters, it takes uh, either a lot of material or uh, uh, another way to, to, to fill that space or, or to give that space a form. So uh, because it's a book presentation, we've been quickly uh, thinking about paper too, because in former projects also we're working with recycled papers or with discarded books. And uh, then we did a lot of work on uh, small maquettes. So we did the uh, models and uh, we try out that way. And uh, after uh, several studies, we, we ended up with this solution to use the flat paper to build this tent-like structure, which is also inspired by the printing machine, because this paper is coming out of the uh, newspaper production process, and uh, those printing machines, they also have these uh, nice movements up and down. What did it play any role in your reasoning um, that you knew it will be close to the Swiss Art Awards and it will be in the surroundings of Art Basel? Was this any inspiration or did it stop you or did it encourage you? So it's challenging, this uh, hall, it's a quite an old uh, hall which they don't yeah, which is quite challenging, the light and also the height of the space. But we've been very pleased that we had so much uh, time to install the work, unlike the other artists which participate in the Swiss Art Award. They have to set up in two days, and we had more than two weeks, so very generous to do something. Bruno, you did um, a lot of interviews with artists who are presented in these Cahiers d'Artists. They were talking about their experiences um, once they had these Cahiers. What did I tell you? Well, I made a video with uh, other people, with uh, Martina, Shanin, and uh, Evelyn, and Colette too. So we decided to ask them uh, questions about the Cahiers and also be free, talk about the mistakes they made or uh, they had to tell if they still like it or they don't like it anymore. And we had to encourage them to feel free. So it was nice to see them in their surroundings and not just see their work in the paper. I mean, to see the people live. So. I mean, this, this leads to the question, how adequate in the 21st century is it to do something like this anyhow? A booklet? Yes. I don't know how adequate it is. <laughs> Martina, maybe, maybe you can answer this from the art education perspective. So I think that, um, I think for art, I think that's much more a question that artists have to answer because I think a lot of artists that we were answering about the booklets, so they, they were appreciating it because it's something that you can give and it's a kind of medium also to transform the, their artwork. And so what they were saying when we were on the on this tour together, so it was for them a very also it was a, a important uh, important um, how you say challenge to do this, and this gave them a lot of possibility to get in contact with other institution and also to be to be around with this book with this cahiers. Uh, so I think most of the artists were very comfortable with it, but also some were. Uh, discussing about uh, perhaps there are also other medias much more interesting for them to present their work. So when they're working in a performative way, so as a book is something that you can show it in this way. So that was the experience that we had. So we have an artist with his or her artwork, which is transformed into paper, which then is transformed into the space over there uh, surrounding, uh, close to uh, Swiss Art Awards. You were there now for about a week. Janine, what are your um, experiences? Did it uh, work out well what these three gentlemen uh, thought out? What were the reactions of the public? 
Unfortunately, um, I wasn't really there for the whole week. Okay, anybody Because I had to work at the museum. <laughs> But um, I'm very happy with it. And um, I think them too. So, and the reactions I got when I was there um, was very positive in a way because all people uh, had been very different ideas about it, um, but they re realized that the paper is the main material that these guys are formed of, and um, also that there are the ideas we wanted to say are transmitted about the installation. And in a way, it's like an artist work on an artwork by himself, but also uh, it works as a as an object to to support all these kind of ideas we wanted to tell. And I mean, you can see three different parts inside. One is telling about the history of this collection in the last 12 years. Then you have a part that will show the actual artists with the Swiss Info videos and also these very important questions we had that are um, well done in the video of Bruno Steiner. And uh, I think it's really working together really well. Yes, Martin? Uh, when I was in the exhibition, I uh, discovered a funny thing because we printed these uh, 50,000 empty newspapers And uh, at one stage, I opened these boxes, and people could uh, get those free newspapers, like they're popular here. Uh, and then uh, I surveyed this a little bit, and it was very funny how people picked up these newspapers. Some people picked it up, like they pick up these free newspapers on the train station, and they flip through, and they see, oh, there's no information, so they put it back. And others, they reacted uh, in the opposite way. When they saw that there is nothing inside, they took five. <laughs> Martina, <coughs> what was your observation, how uh, the public reacted to what you presented there? So for me was the part very important also to stand there sometime, so also to get in discussion with the people. So when you normally work in museums and you work much more in a, how do you say, in, in a direct way, so you talk with the people and the, the talking is normally our tool of uh, doing things or to work with materials. And so when we, when we do mediation projects, so I think it's also always a little bit difficult to say education because it has a lot of do, to do with the material. And so also that was Martin said, to work with the, the central part of, uh, of an artwork. And in this case, it was not an artwork, so we were working with books. So, uh, and books that are tr uh, transforming an idea. So we are much more working in a conceptual way also. So it, is, it was very important that we stand there, that when people came, that we asked them if they want to have questions, if they have questions, or, and so we get a lot of uh, contact and also discussion about what they are seeing and what they, what they are, their perception about it. And I think so this, uh, this working with these different parts, so talking, and uh, giving a kind of place where you can talk, where you can be. And I think the installation that they did, so it was very good because, so that was what we were thinking that we want in the room, so a place to, to, to be, and a place to go through this, uh, this, uh, this, this 12 years of Colexio Gayet Artist from Pro Helvetia. So I think to think about what it is, what, what artists were there, so, we get a lot of reaction. Also, there were people coming and thought, oh, that's interesting, so this artist, what, the, what does he do now? I, have not, I haven't heard a lot of him. Oh, these are now very famous. Do you have more of these calles? Or, um, so there was a lot of discussion about the calles, but also about the situation in an art field. So, because the Art Basel with galleries, Swiss Award and all the stuff are different kind of formats. And uh, in this surrounding, it was a place to discuss and to get to get the people in a contact. I think that was something. And I think also we were there, art educate, as we were mediators, and we were there, and we get in this discussion. So it was one of our part to do. So. Do so you think that uh, Proelvetia will be satisfied with uh, how it turned out in the end? Yes, I think it's a very nice uh, project. So you can say it is very. 
it is very, um, how you say, it's very well done. Any next uh, plans where uh, this Tuareg tent will move to, maybe? Or is this just this, was it just a one-time um, installation and it will be torn down? What will happen to it tomorrow? So we have to, p uh, to put it away. <laughs> and the rest um, we are discussing afterwards. I think it's not decided yet <laughs> to put it away. <laughs> but, <laughs> No, I think it's the project as it was in this week is, is singular, but um, the project can go on in different kind of um, formats in, in insta institution, different institutions in Switzerland. That was also already discussed with Pro Helvetia, but it's not uh, not decided yet at which time it will be. And they were already talking because they were really satisfied about the installation in this week that maybe the project will go on next year, also during art fair. Because art fair is, a, is the place where all these kind of interested people for art are coming to Basel. And I mean, it was exactly at this week because they wanted to have curators there, they wanted to have mediators there, they wanted to have interested people there. And um, it was also the way we planned the project because we knew that this week we were special and we have to do something that these kind of people feel, feel good and free. Martin, you wanted to comment uh, about yes, the plans? About the continuity. Uh, paper is one of the few products in the global market which is not transported for large distances and which is not uh, traded globally because paper, the value of paper is not high enough that paper and cardboard could be shipped or produce cardboard we use here is not produced in China it's produced in Switzerland mostly because the value is not high enough that's I think also in, uh, in terms of this work it can appear elsewhere without uh, it can be reproduced wherever because paper is a local thing okay the wood travels are all the world that's for sure but the, the paper not so much Maybe we can open up to the public. Um, any questions to these uh, ladies and gentlemen here on stage? Any questions about uh, Collection Cahiers d'Artistes? Do you know it? Who knows the Cahiers d'Artistes? Raise your hands. Yeah. All those who didn't raise their hands, go over there. Um, you're still open until when tonight? Till 7 o'clock. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much for your interest and uh, have a nice evening. <laughs>